Hello, people of no color and no culture. I got busted for no-no speech. I don't know where I said it or when I said it, but somebody turned me in for saying something they didn't like. They call it hate speech, even though there's no such thing as hate speech, just communism, totalitarianism, oppression. So I got busted for hate speech. Oh, well. Um, so, you know, I don't know if somebody's after my channel or if it was just some things that I've said lately, because whenever I get a free opportunity, I'm on YouTube shit posting. And it says here that I won't be able to post for a day. Well, what did they mean by a day? By like daylight hours, 24 hours? Because the last time I posted, shit posted, and I get, get this, and then I shit posted afterwards. So really, there was no delay in me being able to post or shit post. So I don't know. Um, anyway, so what would I be shit posting about? I pretty much shit post about the same things over and over and over again. Um, one is obviously, you know, about people of color coming into our countries of no color, no culture. Pisses me off. And uh, raising children, you know, don't be mouthy. Don't let your kids be mouthy. But mostly uh, talking about people of color coming into our uncolored countries. And anyway, so thinking about that. This may sound really strange, but I'm a strange person, and I think you guys are pretty familiar with that. I was out in the flower bed today, weeding, and I was pulling up these weeds, and I was thinking about, how do I keep these weeds from coming back? They just drive me insane. And, uh, you know, I'm pulling out a dandelion, and that taproot is really deep. And then and then it dawned on me, I don't know where it came, and this is before I saw this uh, this thing from YouTube this notice that I said no, no words. Um, why is it that in school, in government schools, they taught us about the rise and fall of civilizations? And have you noticed that all the civilizations they talk about, with the exception of one, I think the Chinese, everybody is who white. <laughs> it's all Western civilization. <laughs> Hmm. Interesting. All right. So how do, how do plants and civilizations, how are they related or similar or whatever? So how do you kill a civilization and how do you kill a weed? Well, there's three things you can do. Maybe there's more, but three things come to mind for me. One, you could just yank it out by the root, like having people, you know, moving all over the place and not having any roots anywhere. And, um, so they're easily manipulated. Uh, like what we're seeing right now. Um, but like a dandelion, you pull it out and it, you never can get the root out completely and it'll always come back. Or you can suppress it. You could put something on top of it. Like weeds, I'll put cardboard and burlap and dirt, pieces of wood. Depends on how bad I want to suppress that weed. But we'll, it will always go back. It will. I'm sorry, it will always grow back. The weeds will always grow back. Civilization will always grow back. So it's really depressing right now that we're at the end of our civilization. But you know, if you uh, if you recall back to when you were in school, now, I, like I said, I don't know what younger people learned in school, but what we learned in school is that the end of a civilization always involved the savages coming in, hordes of savages coming in and sacking civilization and destroying it, <laughs> kind of like what we have now. So uh, is this uh, what we're living through? Is this deja vu? Is this the same thing that happens every time a civilization ends? Is it the same group of people that end civilization? Like they shoot themselves in the foot too. They always say that they're the victim. Maybe. I don't know. All right, people of no color and no culture. Thank you so much for listening. Oh, and by the way, write down my email address. Left Coast Chickadee at gmail.com. So if my channel gets deleted, I can tell you where I'm at. Thank you so much for listening. Look forward to your thoughts below.